Welcome. The prolonged economic downturn has become the top worry for most wealthy investors. That's according to new research from Spectrum Group. Uh, my guest is George Walper. He is president of Spectrum Group. George, welcome. Thank you, Scott. Uh, what is Spectrum Group? What do you guys do over there? We're a market research and consulting firm that specializes in the wealth markets and retirement markets. So said differently, we do extensive research with wealthy investors in the country mm -hmm. and publish reports for the financial services industry. Well, on the surface, it looks like wealthy investors are feeling the same kind of uh, fear and uh, uncertainty as the rest of America. Is this, is this a surprise in this study for you? It's not a surprise. It's been somewhat consistent since 2009, you know, in the middle of the economic crisis and the recession. Uh, it is a little surprising that some of these concerns continue many years down the road. A number of folks are really waiting for unemployment rates to drop into the 6 or 7 percent level. That's mm -hmm. what they've always said would be their measure of when the recession was over, and we're still a little bit away from that. And, and then talk about how they're, uh, with this uncertainty, how are these wealthy investors reacting? Are they just sitting still or are they doing anything? Well, it's a little, it depends somewhat on their level of wealth. The very mm -hmm. wealthy, so call it the 5 to 25 million, mm -hmm. are now beginning to feel a little bit more comfortable taking investment risk. But they're still cautious, conservative investment risk compared to, say, 2006. But the folks that are worth a couple hundred thousand dollars to a million, or we could mm -hmm. think of them as the mass affluent, are still very concerned. They're the ones that were impacted the most significantly over the last three or four years. And so they remain cautious and they remain um, somewhat on the sidelines. Mm -hmm. The other part that is interesting, however, is mm -hmm. there is a, a, a segment of this mass affluent population that is especially the baby boomer or a little bit older, mm -hmm. the folks that are closest to retirement, they're the folks that are willing to take a little bit of risk and are looking at ways to potentially recoup what they lost much quicker than just waiting for time to heal. Mm -hmm. and, and typically somebody who's near retirement who is now moving into the income phase, your I mean, most advice is to kind of stay away from risk at that time. Is that, that's, that's kind of unusual. It is unusual, but at the same time, folks that now are going to be retired, moving towards living off of an income fixed or, or retirement funds, et cetera, interest rates being so low, it's very difficult for them to take their savings and convert that into anything that could generate significant income each month. Mm -hmm. uh, now, do these people, although they're uncertain and they're kind of worried, do they, do they get a feeling that things are beginning to turn around? Well, they're, they're feeling as if things are better, mm -hmm. um, but they're still very cautious. They they are remain frustrated with um, activities in Washington. We don't ask people's political interests or parties, but they're all essentially saying, I mm -hmm. hope things might get better a year from now, depending on the election. The election not being the presidential only, but the Senate and the House, so that mm -hmm. maybe things can be done better. Mm -hmm. So you see a strong turnout there. What, what, uh, what would you tell advisors, financial advisors, re retirement planners, uh, what kinds, if any, of opportunities does this present to them? Well, there remains significant opportunity to help people plan for retirement, even if they're 60 years old. But more importantly, we're seeing a number of 40-year-old folks who are very worried about retirement, and they're years away from that. So I would always encourage advisors to spend some time understanding what the concerns of their client or prospects are, and then taking that and put together a strategy relative to either income in retirement or saving for retirement or in a lot of cases helping folks figure out a way to reduce their debt. Mm -hmm. And as you look forward into upcoming research, how do you think this is going to trend? Well, we, each month we, we release the Spectrum Affluent Millionaire Index um, the last Wednesday of every month. It's been trending upward the last six or seven months. It slowed down a little bit this month. Mm -hmm. um, I think you'll see it equal to what it is or trend up a little bit depending on what unemployment does. And it will take a, a negative turn relative to gas prices and relative to the whole European debt crisis, depending if that bubbles up again, which it appears to be. Mm -hmm. um, folks are pretty in tune with those major trends. And talk about taxes, too, because there's a lot of uncertainty in that area right now. There is. I think of folks who are kind of waiting for the outcome, depending mm -hmm. on their level, their tax level, their tax status, waiting for the outcome of the tax breaks that are supposed to expire at the end of the year. 
Um, I think everybody realizes that something has to be done from a tech standpoint. They're all trying to figure out what, and that gets back to their frustration with Washington and their elected officials about mm -hmm. not resolving these issues. Uh, my guest is George Walper. He is president of Spectrum Group. George, a great pleasure. Thanks for sharing your time with us. You're welcome, Scott. Thank you. And you're watching Annuity News Now.